Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel, where Bitcoin still is a revolution, no matter what price we see. Guys, um, today, a short TA video on Bitcoin. It was a pretty volatile night, I must say. Um, let's jump quickly into the charts to see what happened and to see what could happen now uh, after this. Bam! No, no. Cause ain't easy, darling Cause the devil's on my trail huh. I've been running so long That my feet don't work no more oh, yeah. This is the... Uh, wow, this is the 15-minute chart, sorry. The 15-minute chart, uh, just to show you how the Bam Bam indicator performed. Um, you could have shorted or sold your Bitcoin over there. You could have bought or longed your Bitcoin over there, sold again over there, and bought again over there. If you're spot trading, you can use those flags. And if you're leverage trading, I would trade with confirmations. So the confirmation would be a short flag, a candle closing down below the yellow stepping line, the bam bam crossing over there, and there needs to be a lot of yellow and blue, which was there. Um, so that's a triple confirmation of that short and that short would have given you, let's say from here, you take it a little bit later. Yeah, it depends when you exit. If you exit at the long flag, it would be 4%. If you exit at the bottom, it would be 6%. Um, so that would be a beautiful um, short. The long, same way, you need to have a green flag, then a candle closing above the yellow stepping line. It needs to be green and the bam bam also needs to have crossed so that was a short uh, that was a long from here to the short flag another two percent that was a pretty volatile night let's jump into the next chart let's go to the day chart over here bam this is the day chart guys on this day chart you can see two lines the red line and the green line these are EMAs, Exponential Moving Averages. The 200 Exponential Moving Average is the red one and the other one is the 50. We found support on the 200 Exponential Moving Average. A lot of people will say, but the MAs, we didn't find support. Yes, I can show the MAs as well. These are these, we broke the 200 day moving average. So the 200 day moving average has been broken indeed we didn't find support but if we take a look at the exponential moving averages which is considering a little bit more short time so it's a little bit more accurate when it comes to the short term of these averages then we found support at that level this one here on the bottom and um, that is what we call i will show you the rsi that is a little bit low Normally during the bullish times we should be above the 60 line um, like you can see if we're bullish mostly above the 60 line So we need to bounce off this 25 level come back up um, to see the beautiful Creation of a new pattern that Bitcoin is going to create whatever pattern it would be guys If you want to bam trade all of this go down below the video This is the video down below the video and click the links take your bonus a Femix $1,200 bonus or prime it with a 50% deposit bonus or buy bit a 3600 but deposit bonus at the moment Binance doesn't have a bonus But still it's a good exchange to do your spot trades also you will find the sign up link here to Oryx platform and on which we show all the charts or machine trader on which we soon will start some trading guys uh, next chart bam over here oh the bam bam just gave an alert a long flag on the 30 minute so that is also what you get when you uh, buy the bam you get alerts on when the long flags and etc appear and um, this is the weekly chart we just had a day chart we are going to the week chart let's check the week chart yes we still find support on the ema ribbon the top line is a 20 move the 20 uh, the 20 weekly moving average so we are finding support on the 20 that is beautiful but like we see if we copy 2013 like i said yesterday we could even fall deeper all the way to 38k before we go in that exponential huge growth but at the end of this video i have an amazing chart that is telling us december will not be the top so i will check that one as well because if december would not be the top where will the top 10 be just watch this video till the end and you will see bam that was me 
D, D. Let's jump into the next chart over here. Oh no, do I need to say something else? Yes, we have this um, beautiful lines here on the bottom, just to educate you, the NVTHV combo, the stock RSI and the RSI. Um, look, the stock RSI is telling us, ah, we are going down a little bit, like the um, there is no much power in this move, you know, the move has been over, you can see the curling, we are going down, and we need to come down and up again to have this another move. And um, RSI also going down a little bit, this one, the um, beautifully um, red line that you see, um, as long we stay red on the monthly and the weekly, that is very positive. We just nipped down below the 40 level, which mostly is very positive because if the red line comes out from the bottom to the top and stays red, um, that is mostly a bullish movement. We have a lot of flies today. Good morning, flies. So uh, let's see what happens with here. Um, if we stay red or positive, if we change to white, that is um, less positive. Let's jump into the next chart. Yes, I'm speeding up a little bit. Um, I shared this chart today day with um, also on Twitter uh, because I've been sharing this chart now for a couple of weeks and I've been telling you did you see the move from September um, to December in the last two bull runs in the last two bull runs we went 2013 times 10 2017 times 5 so I asked on Twitter where do we go today are we going from here September again to December to times 2.5 times 4 you say um, the difference is in September there, 2013, we saw a, like a hammer candle, a long wick to the downside and a body and a small wick to the top. Here we saw the same in 2017, a long wick to the downside, a small body and a small wick on top. This candle is different. So that is the only difference that I can see now um, in this September candle. So let's see what will happen. Um, if you want to um, Tell me what you think, then go to Twitter and leave your comment down below that tweet. Now, let's jump into a chart that is telling us that we might need to wait a little bit longer than December. Okay, that chart is... BAM! Over here. Um, created by... I think it was a directional route. Yes, he, I shared this chart before, I really like it. Um, but this is like an adjusted chart. And let's see how do we explain you this the first peak in 2013 you see it over there and then the top in 2013 you see over there this blue area is representing the amount of blocks it took from that first peak to the second peak so that's 42.5 K blocks okay this was the first peak in 2021 the all-time high if it would take 42.5 um, if it now would take 42.5k blocks till the next peak, we would be here at this moment at the 7th of February in 2022. So if it would depend on the block creations, then it would take all the way to February till we see the next peak. Now, there is another measurement too. The top of 2013 was over there. The top of 2017 was over there. So the difference between those tops was 16.5k in blocks. If the difference to 2017 and now 2021 again would be 16.5k blocks, then we would end on the 11th of March 2022. So the rational route is telling us um, he is expecting on this beautiful spiral based Bitcoin chart that the top would be in between the 7th of February and the 11th of March. Um, to be clear, normally we reach the top every time in December. December top 2013, December top 2017, so normally it should be 2021. But if it would be a prolonged Bitcoin run, we could even end between February and March 2022 if it is up to this chart. Um, I don't care if it is December or it is January, it is February, it's March, April, May, in the long term, in my opinion, Bitcoin is going up. It's a four-year cycle till now, the cycle can change, but there is one thing that still is always on my mind, the demand is steadily growing every year, the offer is staying the same, it's 21 million Bitcoins, even less, it's now only like two and a half million Bitcoins left, of which maybe a few are so lost, we don't even know. But guys, that means that when the demand is growing tremendously, 
and the amount is staying the same at 21 million, the price, in my opinion, can only go up. That's why we call it a store of value. So that was everything for today. I hope you really enjoyed all the flies hitting me everywhere over here. <laughs> I hope you also enjoyed the charts. If you did enjoy the charts, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about that beautiful last spiral chart? When do you think the top will be in? And what do you think about last beautiful volatile night? Thanks for watching, guys, and see you later today or tomorrow again. Oh, we will be traveling to Lisbon, where we will stay for a week now. Um, uh, and there I will make some videos from Lisbon. Also, again, the family videos. I think the first family video I made yesterday or Ready, I still need to put it on the line. Thanks for watching and see you later. You better pray.